boys and girls. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a new book with you and this book is called The Day the Crayons Quit. So I wanted to ask you to look at this cover with me and tell me how do you think that the crayons are feeling? Can you tell by their expressions on their faces? Do they look happy or do they look upset? Hmm. They really do look upset to me too. So what do you think is happening? Why are they upset? What makes them want to quit their jobs? What do you think happened? I think it's time for us to go inside and read the book and find out why is it that the crayons wanted to quit? One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts at Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears ponies and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me! I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handing one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. 
Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove that I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn, your pal, and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I am clearly the color of the sun, because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pen pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before that, and the year before that. I really have enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows, they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring, and an A plus for creativity. So what did you think of our story? Do you have a favorite crayon? Is there a crayon in your box that you spend a lot of time coloring with and then maybe some other colors that you'd never use at all? How do you think that the crayons feel about this? Hmm. And in the end, what did Duncan do to fix the problem? What did he do? Remember? He made a picture and how many of the crayons did he use in his picture? Yeah, I think you're right. He used all of them. So my challenge for you is to go and find a piece of paper. It doesn't matter if it has lines on it or if it's just a blank piece of paper from the printer and go to your box of crayons or markers or colored pencils. Grab as many as you can in one hand. See however many you can grab with just one hand. Oops, see I dropped one. See how many you can find. And my challenge to you is to draw a picture that uses every single one of these crayons. Even if there are some that you've never used before. Make one picture on one piece of paper that uses every single color that you have. What do you think? Can you do it? I believe in you and I think you can. Go and have fun and I'll see you next time when I read our book about the koala who could. Bye.